Hello, everybody. I've been asked to find out if anybody owns a Scotchman. He's running about outside the building here, dashing about with a piece of dry bread in his hand, looking for the traffic jam. And I'd like to tell you about a lady, too, who went into Drage's the other day, and uh, she said, I've come to pay the last instalment on my perambulator. The shop walker said, certainly, madam. And how is the baby? She said, fine, he's getting married today. <laughs> and then there was a nigger. He went out to Hollywood, thought he'd like to go on the films. And so the first job he had was to get into bed with a lion. So the producer says, quite all right, there's nothing to worry about. What do you want to worry over that for? He's a nice, easy lion. He was brought up on milk. And the nigger says, yes, so was I, but I eat meat now. Then the mother and father of three healthy schoolboys were going off to the theatre. So father saw the boys, and now look here, my lads, have a good game, but no mischief, and I should back at 12 o'clock. Well, the parents came back at 12, father saw the boys, and had a good time. They said, yes, Dad. He said, now tell me, what have you been playing at? Well, the oldest boy, age 12, says, cool, Dad, we've had a wonderful game. We found the telephone directory, and we found 13 people whose name was Smelly. We phoned them all up, and we said, are you Smelly? And when they said yes, we said, well, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> and now I'd like to tell you about a friend of mine who owns a donkey. Well, this donkey got very lazy, so he took him round to see the vet. Well, the vet gave him two pills, one black, one red. Now, to give the donkey the black pill first, I don't think you'll need to give him the red one, but still you'll see. They met on the following morning, he said, well, how's the donkey? He says, my word, how is he? So gave him the black pill, he went absolutely mad. Rushed round the stable yard, kicked the door down, rushed up the town, and if I hadn't swallowed the red one, I'd never have caught him. Well, now I think we'll burst forth into uproarious melody. <laughs> Now, there's lots of surprises that happen in life, and so I have tried to collect a few of the things that have happened to people that nobody seemed to expect. Now, for bigamy last week, a chap was in court, and after the charge had been read of marrying six different wives in a year, the judge frowned upon him and said, Six different wives you have taken to church and endeavoured to love and protect. You should have six months, but I'll give you a medal. That's something he didn't expect. Now, the new council houses they build are a frost, and about one there's just been a row. In this case, they got water pipes and the gas all mixed up and joined anyhow. Now, a lady was seated one day in her bath, but all her arrangements are wrecked. She said as the flue brush came up through the plug, oh, that's something I didn't expect. Now, a fellow was crossing the channel one night, found there was a large crowd on board. He gave up his berth to an old lady, so no doubt he will have his reward. On arriving at Dover, he wired to his wife, myself, I've had to neglect. During night, I gave birth to a charming old lady. That's something he didn't expect. Now, Jones was expecting to be a proud dad. He was waiting downstairs, feeling sore. The nurse said that if the result was a boy, she'd give a loud knock on the floor. Now, a plumber was working hard in the next room, and all their arrangements he wrecked. He knocked 14 times, and Jones said as he fainted, that's something I didn't expect. So smile, 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 and be contented. No matter what surprises you may get. Just say as the monkey said when the clock fell on his head That's something I did not expect <laughs>